Good evening, and welcome to another episode of, well, you thought I was going to say Have You Seen, but no, this isn't an episode of Have You Seen, this is an episode of Co-Videos, mm -hmm. and today's Co-Video mm -hmm. was something that we talked about in the beginning that we weren't sure if we were going to start doing a series. I, th I think eventually it was an idea that we'll start bringing some series to, to, the, to the show, but this one in particular is just kind of a long movie. Because it's one big cohesive story. Yeah. But like, and I'm sorry I was so insistent on this one, but like I felt, well, I don't want to spoil anything. Well, um, so the series is called? Arcane. All right. Um, and it's a Netflix exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you've played the game League of Legends, then you know what it's about. And I never have played League of Legends whatsoever. I played one time. A buddy of mine talked me into playing Did one time. He's like, you're going to love it. And then, like, I made a first level character, and then basically my character just got gacked by like level twenty characters over and over again. Well, yeah, it's it's you're supposed to level up each and every time you play the game, and if you don't know what the hell you're doing, you're just going to get stomped. And then the people will call you, you know, new names. Yeah, for, get good. For, for like, it, it's yeah. it, it's one of those things where the community, which I'm sure, it's probably overblown because I mean all communities are toxic, but that sounds like a community in which being new to it is not acceptable it's not a thing you want it's yeah. what you want to do and that's that's exactly where i was there's some dude that basically just charged down on me and he just gacked me every single time i yeah. i uh ran back to the area i think he was like literally hanging there just waiting for me to come back yeah. I mean, um, it's, I, i've never played those types of games which is why i never gotten to smite or dota or anything yeah. like i just don't understand what kind of fun is derived from like a high level character sitting around killing all i'm just kidding i used to play world of warcraft it's fucking fun um <laughs> but uh Anyways, back to Arcane. Arcane, based on League of Legends, but like as we've never seen it, and we can follow the show without any difficulty. So that's that's was something I was worried about going when I first like originally heard about it, because mm -hmm. I knew it was Arcane based on League of Legends. I'm like, well, I don't know anything about League of Legends. I don't know if this is a show I'm going to watch. But um, some of the people in which I kind of talk to occasionally on online have been like, no, you don't need to know anything about the show. Mm. So I decided to watch it. And I finished it in two days. And then I told you, like, hey, you should watch it at some point in time. And you're like, okay, well, well we've got other stuff. But we'll get to it. I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I totally remember, like, when you were like, hey, you should watch it. I was like, eh. You know, like, it, it's, it just wasn't, since I knew it was, like, League of Legends, mm -hmm. I was like, eh. You know? And so there's, uh, that was back in November. And uh, December has happened. And I'm, you know, wearing a Jake shirt. So, and and I told you to watch it not for, not for, YouTube, but just to watch it. Mm. And then, like, you texted me one day and, like, we're going to talk about Arcane. Yeah. So, I think um, how much we like the show based on uh, evidence and um, context clues from you, <laughs> that um, it was probably one that we both enjoyed. Safe to say. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it, it's really good. It's kind of like in this sort of steampunky setting. Mm. Um, the art is fucking gorgeous. It is, I, th I don't know if there is an animated. Uh, show, movie, cartoon that looks better to me than this. So, yeah, I agree with you. The animation of that, that uh, I don't know if any other channels are doing this, but I will straight up say <laughs> Chef's Kiss. Mm. Beautiful. Some of the most fluid animation mm -hmm. I've ever seen. I think you could, like, just at any point in time, pause the show and it would look like a painting. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, there. I don't know what it's called, and I should have looked it up um, because people like it when you know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Um, it... But I can't remember what it's called. But like when you watch like old school animes, mm -hmm. and like you know you're getting what like 60 frames a second or something like that because it still looks kind of hinky, but yeah, the, yeah, yeah, but it's still smooth. And then there's a thing where you would have a show that was like you know however many frames and look a little hinky, and then they would throw a ton of money into like this five minute area of the cartoon where it goes like super uh, high super like flowing and like where there's there's more cells to it so yeah it's okay yeah it's like you know it's like 200 cells per second or something like that where like the smoke is perfect when it's rolling up yeah and there's a word for it but like that entire show in my opinion looks like it's like two three hundred cells per second because yeah. that it's I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, the only thing I'll. The only thing I'll say is just go watch an episode of it, and you'll know exactly if you're if you're an anime enthusiast, you'll know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Or, or watch like a trailer of it or something like that. But mm. on, honestly, I think like 
if you're into animation and like i mean it's it's kind of this um steampunk ish setting where there's like guns and stuff but there's also kind of the kind of kind of like airships and magitech yeah like it's not full-on magic but there's kind of like magic uh introduced sort of stuff i mean the show the show is called arcane yeah. And that magic at some point in time existed, hmm. and for some reason or other is gone. I think because it's hard to control or dangerous or something like that. And then there's this one guy that was saved by someone who wielding wielding magic, and it's like his life goal to kind of like harness the magic and mm. bring it back to the world in some way because he wants to help people, and he can see all the helpful stuff that magic can do for people and all the ways it can improve life. Is this technically spoiler territory? That's just that's like the premise of the show. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about how about we just go ahead and give it our ratings, and then we'll jump into spoilers because I really want to talk about this show. Okay, so I would say, um, so if you're into that sort of stuff, like go watch the show. Mm. I'd give it probably a, like from zero to ten, like a nine. That's high praise. High yeah. praise. Um, I found the story in areas predictable, mm-hmm. um, but that aside. I don't think I've been that entertained in an anime since, like, watching, like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit back in the day. You know, like... <laughs> call, I, him that, call it that Roger Rabbit anime. Uh, <laughs> call him this anime. Well, it, I mean, it, it's... it's Animated. Animated, sure, sure. Well, I, don't, I don't want to get angry emails when this show takes off in, like, eight <laughs> years. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd say nine is... I'd say that's where I'm at, too. I don't know where I would deduct the one point. There was characters I just didn't like in the show. Yeah. Um, there were... I, I think the, the the fact that it didn't end kind of bothers me a little bit. You kind of left in the middle of something big about to happening. And with the track record of Netflix shows, I sure hope there's a season two coming that doesn't get canceled. Well, I mean, hopefully it'll come out around the time of Cowboy Bebop season two. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. Um, that show so had such potential. I think, uh, I've not watched it. So I think um, what I'd read is that in 2023 or 24 is when season two of Arcane would be ready. Because like they were like, it takes so long to animate this that don't expect it next year, which would have been this year. Season one of Arcane. You killed my father. I'm going to fuck you up. And then season 20, if it comes out like next year, it'd be like... (laughs) All janky. We already got you. (laughs) So, yeah. We got you hooked. Yeah. Now we'll get get you to watch it. But yeah, I'd say nine. I'd say that's a fair rating. I think a lot of it was be like, maybe like the story and like if it was, if it was animated differently, maybe it would have been an eight. I just think how gorgeous the, the, the animation is just, Bump, bumps it up to, um, to almost perfect for me. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and be bold on this one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a ten. Really? Because I'm sitting here thinking about what I would knock off a point for, and I can't I can't say anything. Like I can't. All the characters were fun. Mm-hmm. You actually gave a shit about most of them. Like yeah, I don't know if there's any ones that I, I like. Just maybe Echo. I, don't, I wasn't super interest, invested in Echo's story. Which one was Echo? Um, the the guy riding the board. The See, I liked him as a kid, mm-hmm. and then like when the dude that showed... Oh, shit. Um, uh, so, yeah, so there's, a, there's our rating. So, we're just going to go ahead and say this as a blanket comment, and I know that you've probably watched one video, and you probably haven't watched any of the other ones, but if you started with this one, we'll just go ahead and say it. After we give our ratings, we are going into spoilers. Yeah, we want to give you a time to like, okay, they, they, they liked it, and if you've watched previous videos and kind of get a sense for what we, what we like then you should have a sense for, like, if these guys are giving it a 9 and I like other things that they give high ratings to, I'll probably like this, too. Yeah. It's worth the, it's worth the 9 episodes. Yeah. We, we like to give our ratings, like, right up front because, honestly, I don't normally want to sit and listen to people talk for, like, especially people that I'm not, like, particularly vested in. Like, I don't... I just don't want to listen to them sit there and shoot the shit, you know? Uh, the, the, the YouTube videos I watch are... 30 to 50 minutes long of people just talking about whatever because I like to put on the video and like play a video game or mm-hmm. mess around on my iPad and like do some research or whatever. Are you whatever. actually listening to it if you're doing that? Yes. So I'm, I'm listening to it. I'm not watching it, which is good because look at look at how blown out I am. Don't look at Don't look at me. I'm a ghost. <laughs> you can look at me and my rough, uh, yeah. screwed up how, arms. How, you can't see how scarred I am. I'm not. 
I'm pristine like a doll. Well, I mean, you are part white out. So yeah. your body, your dad was a bottle of white out. Your yeah. mom was a solid white printer paper. <laughs> was a white, white piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're in spoiler territory at this point. Yes. So. so I think Echo mm. is the only character I was maybe less interested in their particular storyline. And hopefully that'll change as things go on. But just like the little guys flying around on boards, like, I'm like, meh. See, I dug him because like one of my favorite fights was um, him and Jinx on the bridge. Okay, yeah, and that was really good. Because it, got, good. it kept getting to that thing where it was like smooth combat, and then they were doing like the blinking lights thing where you were getting like the... Oh, oh, so yeah, and you kind of get the, the, the shots to like the past of them as kids and stuff like that. And then yeah. I, maybe if we played the game, we might know a bit more about Echo, but it seems like, because he was doing that, like that clock thing back and, t- back and forth and kind of like predicting the future. Mm. And then after he saw how it played out poorly, he like relived it, but did it better. Yeah, yeah. And knowing more about that probably would have been cool because it's just a thing he did one scene and maybe if it was in the show a bit more i might like echo a bit more so the thing when you said that you had watched um or played any um of the game Mm -hmm. like i hadn't played much of it like i like i said i got pwned for about an hour and i was like you know what fuck this game yeah um i knew who jinx was yeah same here because league of legends is pretty good like one of my favorite things back in the day was whenever um team fortress Mm-hmm. would like put out like different things and no, they like that the meet the pot meet yeah, pyro yeah i used to love those videos mm-hmm. and i think that league of legends got pretty good about putting out little videos like this is the new character that's coming up to kind of like get people shazzed about it and i remember jinxes because she reminded me of a character you played in one of the games where it's like the happy murderer oh yeah because like all of her videos are her basically just her shooting the minigun and she's just laughing her ass off so um, that kind of stuck in my head when I saw I was, that. She, she strikes me as like a Harley Quinn sort of crazy, but l- crazy and loving it. Yeah. Um, but I knew of the character. Yeah. I, I knew of her. I knew of Vi. I knew of um, like Miss Fortune um, and some other ones. So there's like the girl with like the, the teddy bear with like a big thing that's in the game that I think um, our friend Shane had told, told, had told me about at some point in time because I think he played a little bit of it. Mm. So I've, I'd picked up like some of the characters um in just pop culture and kind of like because i like going to like places and looking at art and sometimes you'd be like here's a picture of uh jace and it just looks like a paladin to me I'm like oh cool a paladin guy right and then but i just get exposed to it enough that i'm at least somewhat familiar with a couple of the characters hmm. so and jinx is, i think is one of the kind of poster girls for the for the game is just because she people like her for the same reason i think people like harley well the other reason i wasn't really like into it like watching it mm-hmm is because when the thing started off, it was like, I saw the stuff with the kids. They did pretty good about keeping adult Jinx out of, like, the promo. Yes. From what I remember, watching the trailer, you wouldn't have known that Jinx was in it. You knew about Powder and Vi and stuff like that. And I had no idea who Vi was. Okay. Um, so when they were talking about Powder, I remember watching the first episode, and I'm like, this show's really pretty. I have no idea what's going on. And yeah. then I remember looking at Amber and going, I'm not sure, but, like, the girl powder she has a resemblance to jinx but i don't i don't i don't think so and then i actually went and looked some stuff up Mm -hmm. and i ruined some stuff for myself doing that because i was stoked to see that she was coming into the show well i think i think in episode one like uh one of the two kids that i don't remember the name of because they died pretty early on was he called he you had fat goggles and you had spiky hair useless yeah one i think the the spiky hair guy called he said you're not coming you're such a jinx right i'm like okay uh, you know what? I picked up on that too, but I was just like, I was being apprehensive because it was like, who is this tool and who is that tool? Mm-hmm. And oh, you're just a jinx. Okay, well, you know, maybe they're throwing it there it's... so people will be like, because <laughs> like honestly, the, just judging by the first episode, like I was like, are we going to be following these kids the entire time? Yeah. And then when they did the switch to the grown ups version, and then how they were bouncing back on some of the old wounds that yeah, were coming yeah. up because of it, um, but. I have realized that we're locking in on two particular characters and we haven't really explained too much of what's kind of the overview of it. It's, it's kind of the... Um, That's usually your department. <laughs> the city in, in conflict with each other, kind of that civil war going on between, between the city, like the upper city and lower city. Like It's a very cliche kind of... The haves and the have-nots. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a cliche because it's... <laughs> 
because it's true in, in, in many stories and it just kind of resonates with a lot of people. Right. I mean, people definitely feel the class divide. So having a story about, I guess, hi, hi that <laughs> delicious black liquid product. Mmm, Jägermeister soda, so good. So you kind of following these kids from like the have-nots go to steal from the haves, and that happens to be Jace's lab, and he's like a, a, a magic college student sort of thing. Right. And it just kind of sets off a chain of events, which leads to uh, uh, it's Tom Fuckery. Yeah, a, a, whole, a whole bunch of the, the Undercity getting shaken up by uh, some of uh, the of uh, the. Um, I can't remember what they're called. The Enforcers? Yes. I kind think of coming, the enforcers. Coming, to, coming to get back that little dangerous piece of tech. So, have you watched any of... Um, oh, God, I'm going to get fucking flayed for not being able to regurgitate it. Um, the show that used to be on sci-fi, then it went to Amazon, Spaceship. Uh, the Day Exchange? No, it's not. Uh, the E1? The one that... Amber likes the expanse. The expanse. So, the lead enforcer in the beginning of it is voiced by the girl who plays Aramisala, uh, the um, the um, politician for Earth, um, the Indian the Indian looking woman, because um, like she's got a voice that's so distinctly well, that that kind of rough. Yes. Okay. See, I I know her from. God, I think she voiced something in, in some show, and she had that kind of. Um, Thick gravelly. Gravelly, thick gravelly voice. I'm like, yeah. she sounds dope. Yeah. And she's she's got that very distinct voice. And the second yeah, yeah, yeah. she started talking, Amber was like, I know who that is. Yeah. She, she's, her voice is just awesome. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I didn't know what to expect from it when we turned it on. Mm-hmm. I had no idea um, that we were going to be getting uh, basically the backstory of how Jinx became Jinx. Yep. Um, I still don't know who Vi is, but honestly, like... I, I loved her. Like I thought I, she was I think, awesome. I think, uh, she's one of my favorite characters. I mean, like really, the three characters I like are Caitlyn, Vi, and and Jinx. Which one was Caitlyn? Um, was that the cop? Yeah, with the with the sniper rifle. Mm, okay. She, she's my favorite, just because she's kind of that upper crust, kind of straight laced, long hair, and she's sni- learning. Sn- sniper rifle, kind of like learn how to be the beat cop or like. And she's learning that how things aren't exactly black and white. Yeah, and, yeah. but she's got like go to her, go to her room, and she's got like that whole crazy person. Um, oh, the, the 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 Charlie Cox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the uh, or not the Charlie Cox. Conspiracy but, theorist, sort yeah, of. The Charlie Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the sort of the, the, that little thing kind of set up on the floor, and, yeah. and she took a a bad position as a cop because she wants to help people, and she doesn't want to just her given her position, she could just sit at a desk and coast. But she actually actively wants to help people and solve solve crime. Walk and straight the, in as an officer. Yeah. yeah, so I I, I, I doubt her. She was my she was my favorite character. I'd say my favorite character, and this is going to be um, probably somewhat controversial, but the, I really like the main bad guy. Okay. I, I I liked that he was deeper than like your normal guy. Yeah. I felt like he had a cause worth fighting for, and he was doing pretty much whatever it took to get heard, because it seems like when you were down in the lowers, like. You are just kind of like you're. You're the forgotten. You're the less dead. Mm-hmm. And he was doing something to like shake that shit up. So um, I really liked him because I thought he was going to be one dimensional in the beginning of it, mm-hmm. and then you find out that you know how close Vi's father and him were, yeah, and where the separation came between them two, and then you find out that you know he misses his father I, I forget his name but well, he's not exactly the father either he's a father figure yeah well he's he's the guy that picked them up after their parents yeah 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 um but i liked how he felt truly betrayed by this person yeah and that, he almost got murdered by him yeah yeah but like the guy couldn't do it at the last second or it was just he thought that he was dead but he well, really was yeah he got stabbed in the leg but he, remember he like reached forward grabbed the thing out of the guy's like pant leg and stabbed him and and that stopped the and that stopped it stopped that stopped the murder attempt. Yeah, well, but it, the, but it left him like with a with a, the black eye. Yeah, I, and I'm still not clear what was going on. I think I think it's just the water is so bad that he had a wound that got put into that water mm. and the chemically so he had weird awful, lava awful, fish eye. Yeah, awfulness just kind of wor- wormed its way. Yeah, which is the same reason why Vincent or whatever is just kind of he grew up breathing that air and he's just kind of feeble because of it. Yeah, it, no, that's that's yeah that. 
I think that I like that he had just a, a deeper emotional depth than I was prepared for. Mm-hmm. I like that he had a very clear vision. Like usually your your bad guys are like one dimensional. Mm-hmm. I'm bad because of A, but like you could tell like he was driven by his goal mm-hmm. and then completely motivated by what he wanted, but at the same time it's like, oh well he's not he doesn't love Jinx, he's just using her. Yeah. And then when he was basically like almost willing to give up everything. To, sorry, to, keep, to save her. To save Jinx, yeah. And then, like, I got those pangs when that happened because it's not just because, oh, well, he's, he feels like a father to her. It's like, this is the last vestige that I have to be close to my old friend. Yeah. And I, and I care for her because, and you know. Just like that last vestige of humanity or whatever, too, where you kind of get so lost in the fight of what you're fighting for that you kind of lose, you lose, sight. You lose sight of it. Yeah. I, I really dug him. Um, I was really kind of disappointed i won't say too much but i was really kind of disappointed at the end um yeah. I mean, we're, we're talking spoilers you can say what you're... i know but it's like or do you want to do you want to save it for once we kind of move move a little bit further in the video we'll, we'll save it for like later on in the video because that was the other thing and i know we shouldn't be talking about it right now but like i do we want to start like watching the, the whole series and like talking about the whole thing because i feel like we're going to breeze past a lot of little minutiae stuff that was yeah, like uh, it's it's kind of like the if we do it, were to do it episode by episode, we could talk about a bunch of the little minutiae. But if we're, I think we're jamming this into maybe a forty-ish minute video of nine episodes. But I mean, it's it's seven hours of content. It's like one giant movie. Well, like maybe we can do like three episodes. Like we'll watch three episodes, and while it's fresh in our mind, we do a recording, then we watch mm-hmm. the next three. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Like, why don't y'all actually pop down in the comments and tell yeah. us what you think? Because. There's like there's so many things like there was something that would happen in one episode and I was like oh that's fucking dope but I know I'm not thinking of them right now yeah and and the the way I tend to like I tend to do it like the first time I watched the show I watched it in two days mm. so it's just kind of one big movie to me and then like when you're like we're mm. gonna watch like I want to talk about Arcane I'm like okay well it's been a month and a half let me rewatch it mm. and then so I, I over the course of more of like four days watched all of them again and then we were gonna record it and then I got sick. No, and it got delayed by like a week and a half. Mm. Yeah, and now it's now I'm just a bit further away from having watched it again. So you kind of lose that freshness in your mind when when you're just trying to jam pack entertainment into your head. Because I I always feel behind, and so I'm trying to catch up. Last year, 2021 was about watching a movie a day. Mm. 2022 is about watching at least one episode of a, a show a day, so I can catch up on some of these TV shows that I've been. I've been lacking on. That's going to be tough. Well, it's a lot easier because a TV show, like 23 minutes, maybe 40 something minutes. Whereas watching a movie a day, it's an hour and a half. You're going to have to find like TV shows that have been on for like 10 seasons. I'm rewatching watching Gargoyles. Oh, okay. Well, that's what? Three seasons in the padding? Yes. Uh, season, like... season one and three are 13 episodes, but the middle season is like 46 episodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, there you go. There's like, a, what, a fifth of the year down well i've been watching two a day because they're like 23 minutes episodes mm. so i'm trying to do like keeping it to like about an hour a day of watching something because i blew through arcane again at like wheel of, wheel of time the first two seasons of the voids yeah and that's all in january so oh. been, and um witcher one and two i had to rewatch season one of witcher because i remember being confused by it i watched the first first season of the righteous gems gemstones this week okay i've not, I've not heard of that one i didn't hate it didn't mm-hmm. love it. Anyways, hey, what do you think of a new idea? We could do a Gargoyles podcast. You know, I would absolutely talk to you about Gargoyles yeah. all day. And we just do episode by episode. We can, like, open up with, hey, keep it stony, guys. And, like, you know, like, you know, we can... I would absolutely talk about Gargoyles all day long. Because I've been rewatching them and, like, me just throwing out, like, eights and nines per episode. Just because I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to do this episode. I love this episode. <laughs> just be like, ah, oh, it's the pack. I love this episode. This episode's pack, the pack so is so boring. Good. Ooh, Demona. Well, it's... what's uh, And, like, Macbeth is in this episode. I'm like, man, Macbeth, Macbeth is awesome. Like, first season of Gargoyles, it's a banger. I just finished it today. Like, all, every episode's a great episode. Was the first season where they made the bike? Yes. Okay, see, I didn't, I wasn't crazy about that episode. But that episode was the one in which Demona comes and tells Brooklyn about how awful humanity is. And, and they get the book. Yes, and, and then that's when, like, Demona, like, uses the book to mind control Goliath, and, like, she took the spell and, and like, dipped, so my, Goliath's gonna be mind controlled forever. But then Elise is clever, and she's like, okay, I've got the spell here, so listen to this. 
like, well, I want you to act as if you're not mind controlled for the rest of your life, and then the spell's over. And I just like that kind of clever thinking of how to defeat mm. like spells and stuff like that. I don't know if that would work. Why wouldn't it? I want you to act. That's hi guys. Want to go down to well, local it, it, castle? Well, it, it, it's uh, it's um kind of that Shakespearean sort of old school style of magic where built into the spell itself is kind of the counter spell of the spell. And you just kind of have to be clever enough to find the workaround in the magic itself. So it's just kind of like the spell could be overcome. You just had to think you're out of it. And I just think that's cool. And it's got a bike in it for in that episode that blows up like really on. It's like whatever. <laughs> it's a kid's, It's a cartoon for kids. I, I, t- I tamper my expectations. Well, it's it's it was one of my favorites back in the day. It, I remember it's, it's great. that opening every single time. You know. That's key with uh, Keith David's voiceover. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. If you didn't come here for gargoyles, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you don't yeah. have no idea what's going on. Just that's okay. We're, we're just, we'll just on when we name the episode, it'll just be like uh, co videos. We watch arc uh, arc gargoyles, and then I'll just go back and erase it. But. Anyway, so um, it just comment down below if you'd like to see the Gargoyles podcast. Yeah, I wouldn't talk about Gargoyles. That's not just right. I'd talk about Gargoyles. I ain't shit. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> That's only if you agree to do a Transformers one after that with me. Would you want to watch Transformers again? Probably, Probably not. <laughs> I just I went back and watched a few episodes with my with my son, and I was just like, man, I was kind of an idiot back then. But it launched one of the my favorite franchises. So it's, I think it's one of those things where. You can still look back on something fondly and be like, well, the TV show wasn't, maybe it's not as, as great. So I don't, maybe Gargoyles isn't that great, but I just love it. Yeah. And we, right now we're looking back fondly on Arcane. So, yeah. um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We get sidetracked a lot, I know. Well, it's, it's, it's thematic in that this, this year is about watching TV shows more than movies. Mm-hmm. And I'll still, you know, be watching movies for, for YouTube and whatnot. So what you're saying is I'll be able to talk to you into doing a lot of different series. Potentially. And, and if we want to do a, a slow burn of it, but... It, we would definitely need to be like, I need to watch it like the day or the day before. So it's all fresh in the mind. Because there's so many things like in Arcane that you could kind of peek out and talk about that over the haze of even just a week mm-hmm. and just jamming so much media in my head, it kind of loses itself to the fog a little bit. It's it's the thing that got me about it was like, I've said it once on this podcast and I'll say it again. It's To me, it's attention to detail. Mm-hmm. When you pay attention to the small stuff. It makes everything to me come together, um, and like down to like the casings for the bullets, how they were flying out the gun, you mm-hmm. know, to them hitting the ground, um, the way the characters moved. It just that show. I don't know who did it, but the one thing I've always said is, if you have a property and you put someone on it who loves it, mm-hmm. it'll be a success. And I think that's the problem I had with, like, the Star Wars episode 7, 8, and 9. I don't feel... I feel like that was there more to, like, take a political stance than to actually tell a tale. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. The prequels, I feel like that was more of a shameless money grab. Um, but it's like... I mean, looking back on them now, they weren't as bad as I remember watching. Well, I, th- I think 1, 2, and 3 was one guy had a vision of what, what, what was going on. And they went also being like, yeah... And the person who was doing it kind of like didn't understand why it was popular with people, and then just had was surra- didn't understand why it was popular, and then surround yourself with the yes men. Star Wars, midi chlorians, boo, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just you can tell that whoever had this, whoever mm-hmm. hired the studio to animate it and everything like that, like somebody said, okay, we can do you. However many episodes there were in the season, I think ten, nine, nine. I think, they, I think they released them in three batches. I did. Yeah. I waited until it was all done. Nine episodes. You have a show. It's a huge gamble because you don't know if anybody's going to watch something that's League of Legends. Uh, we'll do it for, I don't know, $250,000 per episode. And you could tell someone was like, write the fucking check. Mm-hmm. Because just they, I could not see where they were cutting corners on this show. Like, I was looking for it at the second half of the season. No, it's And it's, the I think, the only thing that, like, the smoke effects and some of the fire effects looked hand-drawn as opposed to... Um, Full on animated, which might stand out as different, but mm. it also to, appear, to me just looks to be the style mm. rather than them cutting corners on hand drawing fire or whatever it was. Yeah, it was like dull, dull shit, like a dull cell style kind of. It was, a... it was just more like drawn cell style versus yeah. for the for some of the smoke, I think, and some and some of the fire, and yeah. I think that was it. The rest of it kind of looked like that full on painted, like someone's kind of like I'm gonna just get my brush and put on some happy little blue hair. And so I, good. 
it's yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, if you're if you're um, if you're an anim- animation nerd, if you if you like cartoons and stuff like that, just give the show a chance. Um, you might not be super impressed with it in the first couple of episodes, just because there's not a lot going on. It's like story building. Yeah, it's, give, it's the first three seasons for three episodes. So essentially, the first third of the of the show is kind of setting up the last six episodes. Yeah, and it's kind of the backstory to get you to the meat of the story, which is kind of show how everything is about to get screwed up. Right. Then pass time. Let everything. Let all that those bad feelings fester. Yeah. While the rich get even richer with the invention of Magitech, and the, and the poor kind of lose their one guy who's like, look, we're not going to war. Well, he dies. <laughs> so <laughs> now it's t- now it's time for to let, let all that hostility brew. So I want to talk about one more character mm-hmm. that I really liked, and I don't remember his name. It was the little tiny dude, the little furry oh, guy. Um, Humble Dinger. Yes. Is that his name? He was so fucking cute. That's, I, 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 I thought he was very interesting, and his story was, was really kind of cool. Well, it's I like how they portrayed him for like a character that has a long life. Yeah. And like how he like goes wistfully and starts telling the stories like he's got 500 years to tell the story, and people mm-hmm. are just kind of like, eh. Nah. Um, and just how he's he wants to stretch every like. We need time to work this out, and like, well, we don't, we don't have time. Right. You can stretch out and, and make this thing and and, yeah. and do it over the course of like twenty five years, but like people are dying, like we don't Jay, have time. Like Jace is from that kind of mining clan or whatever it was. Mm. Like he wants to get these innovations down to help save lives. They don't have to. They have to cut the quarters. They they don't got time. Yeah. Well, you know, he's he's ultimately the guy that's like constantly trying to to squelch them because they're. Us humans, you know, we want to run impatiently to anything to mm-hmm. things because we don't have that much that long to live. And he's living thousands of years, and he's like, eh, just kind of ease back. But man, he's fucking adorable. Yeah. Like even whenever he was exiled and he was wearing the little cloak, yeah. one of my favorite scenes where he's in the little boat and he's putting across, and even the boat is tiny. It's got a little <laughs> tiny motor on it, and he's just going. Honestly, I, I I just really love that scene in which like he's got like I'm gonna take these take Jace to the council and I'm gonna mm-hmm. show them up, and then Jace is like. Hey, I'm Humpledinger. It's time for you to retire, and you've lived a. You've lived a <laughs> we don't. We don't have your time, and everyone else is like, "Yep, we agree." And he's Traitor! Just, and just that like betrayal on his face, like, "Oh." <laughs> and Aww. he was adorable. <laughs> I'm getting kicked out. Yeah, it was that whole thing. But just he's he's super cute. And like when, um, he, when that little girl runs up and he like takes the little thing and makes her like a little top. He's like, "Here you go." Yeah, and she's like, and then his her mom's like, "Ah, creeper." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, if 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 you like animation, if you like a decent storyline, um, by decent I mean it's it it's, was it's fun. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's, It'll gauge you. It's it's kind of a dark mystery sort of. It's not even really mystery, I suppose. I mean, it's, it's kind of they they do obfuscate some things, yeah. you know, with what's going on with the guy. I don't want to say too much. I know we're in spoiler territory, but like, if you're the kind of person that's like watching this in the background, you kind of rolled over the part where we say spoilers. <laughs> Like, there, there's some stuff in the show that is very engaging. Um, I would almost say, like, the first three episodes is, like, building. Yeah. The next three episodes, it picks up momentum. And then the last three episodes, you're off to the fucking races. Yeah. So. It's, just, it's just the only... I, I wish... Like, I, ha- I hate it when, like, shows do, like, that cliffhanger at the end of a season. Because I've been burned by so many shows that haven't been picked back up. That I just want, like... Give me a conclusion. Mm-hmm. And leave it open, like leave some things open for like where you can pick it up afterwards. Don't leave it like and done. It's like no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're in the middle of something. I'm, I'm enjoying what's going on. I want to know what happens next. Well, if you stick around for two and a half more years, it's like I'm I'm nearing forty. I don't know if I got two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where I'll be in two and a half years? Most likely in the ground. Um, the one show that did that to me recently um, that I used to love watching was Final Space. Mm-hmm. Have no, you watched I'm, any of that? No, I'm looking forward to that one. Um, uh, it's a show that Owen Rogers put out with like Conan O'Brien. I think it's called Final Space. Um, I think. Okay. Anyways, they got every single season ended with that cliffhanger. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh. But like the show is so good, I was certain it would get canceled. And they just did the biggest fucking cliffhangery bullshit in the last episode. And like right before the last episode they came out, they were like, warp, warp. Mm, oh God. <laughs> and I was like, really? And then Amber and I watched the last episode and I was like, what the fuck? They better do a serenity on yeah. this thing. Like they better pick it up for a movie or something because Owen Rogers is like, eh. 
it's no more. Write some comic books or write a book or something like that. And get, yeah. like, give me the rest of it. Just end stuff, please. Yeah. I, but, I mean, you know, it's honestly, if you do it that way and people do love the show, and, like, executives make bad calls all the time, so they cancel something. The fans, they sign the petitions and go out in the street and fucking... That's, no one cares about that. Threaten to bite their fucking... How many times have a petition brought back anything besides Serenity? The only thing petitions really do is annoy executives. If you go out and buy the DVDs, that's that's yeah. go out and go out and give them money. Because I, I, if someone wrote a wrote a uh, petition about how awful I am, like I can close that with like a no, 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 I'm out of sight, out of mind. That's yeah. not going to bother me. But if 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 like you are not buying my DVDs or something like that and, and hurting my wallet, that's yeah. where I'd feel it. Yeah, it's it's. I think Family Guy was one of the first shows to like go away and come back. Um, because like they, they canceled it and people started buying the shit out of the DVDs because they released like I think the Blue Harvest CD or DVD okay. which was the yeah the, the, the um, Star, Wars Star Wars stuff ones. Um, and then like the, it came back um, and then the very first episode they went right out the gate with like every show that ever got canceled because of poor poor uh, decisions by uh, the people at, at all these different networks um, but I do agree with you if the show does not come back I'll be very sad yeah but I honestly. Honestly, I don't think there's any way that show won't come back for a second season. I don't. I, I think it's. I think it was greenlit, but you know, again, a year and a half is a long time, and so good for for awful stuff to happen. There's been so like in, with Netflix is kind of tenuous. I think it's got like that kind of. I think it's got its heels dug in, kind of like Stranger Things, where Stranger Things season four is coming soon. DM, but. I think it's popular enough that it, that it, that'll it'll come back. It feels like we've been waiting on the fourth season of Stranger Things for like a year now. It's been a while. Yeah, like it's, I think they announced something and everyone's like, "Ooh." I think it was before COVID, so it's been a it's been a bit. And I have a feeling that didn't help. Yeah. As as you would expect. Yeah. Well, now that you say that, I'm thinking about it. And do you want to go to the theater and watch a movie? Because there's a really good one coming out next week. Oh, what movie is it? Jackass. No. <laughs> well, I think that's Q. <laughs> is there anything else you have to say about Arcan? Um, not really. Uh, great storyline, great characters, great world building. Um, it's one of those shows where, like, there's... I really don't feel like there's any throwaway characters. Like, you, you can get somewhat... Inv- like, even... I think, yeah, I think you, you'll get differently invested in certain characters. Silco. His name was Silco. Silco, okay. Um, well, it's also the, the, the guy. I don't remember his name either. It was like the, the G something. G I want, I want to, it's like the uh, Vi and... Gilkin Gang? No. No? I like how you pulled that one out. I wasn't sure you'd be able to. Um, Back to Gargoyles. <laughs> uh, um, it was the Vi and um, Jinx's father figure. I want to call him like Warwick, but that is incorrect. Gilgamesh. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's characters that you're going to be differently invested in, mm. like some that you're more interested in some of their stories. But then over time, like as maybe a character who's maybe I wasn't as interested in Jace at first, but then like as he's gotten involved in the council, I'm like, maybe that's a little bit more interesting. And then you get more invested, but then it kind of gets like, eh, it's not the same thing. And you get less invested, but then something new happens. So you can you kind of feel that kind of tenuous interest going in with some of these storylines, whereas it's a bit stronger with some of the other characters. Like, whenever, like, Caitlin and Vi and, like, Jinx were doing stuff, I was much more interested in mm. what was going on. Like, same with even Silco and um, the lady with the, with the robot arm. I can't remember her name, but that was the, the lady with the robot uh, arm. That was Amber's favorite character. Like, her, whenever her and Vi, Vi were fighting, it was just fun. Oh, God, yes. So they just was... throwing down and just beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. I think that's something I liked about Vi is... Because like this time when I was watching it, I was like putting D and D classes to everyone. I'm like, Vi's just a barbarian. She's like, she just tank, she just takes the hits and just kind of like spits out teeth or whatever. The one thing, the one of the fa- my favorite lines is the uh, first time that um, what's his name, the airboard guy, uh, Echo. Echo. The first time Echo and Vi like they fight, mm-hmm. and then she finds out it's Echo, and she goes, "You still hit like a girl." And Echo goes, "You still block with your face." Yeah. Like I got a good laugh <laughs> off that one. I was like, "Holy crap!" That's that's so accurate because i don't think i don't think vi knows how to dodge that's like, just just take it and punch back yeah she's she's literally the rocky of the show you keep getting hit you keep getting madder um now that i'm thinking about it one character i did not particularly care for was the fucking dude that was like trying to bring Mag- magitech to the world jace yeah like i didn't 
I wanted to not like him because he would make like he'd do something cool and you're like ah he's cool and then he'd do something fucking stupid and you're like man you are was, such a dumb shit. There was something that was like it was he was really awesome for a minute when he had that hammer and he was just like wrecking shit and yeah. then he like accidentally killed a kid and he's all sad now. Like, Come on, you're being awesome. Yeah, they're your enemy and we just sent a message. Yeah, but I killed a kid. Well, I get why you're no, upset. Now, I mean, yeah, be sad about it, but also, I mean, it was awesome. You can't get, you can't leave with those comically large gloves that, take, that you've been fighting with. Take them. Oh, come and take them. And he's just like, mm, nah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> damn it. Just pimps the fuck away. It's like okay. And so Jace was one of those ones I was differently invested in based on based on the moment. Well, it's like he he was driven by like the greatness or whatever like that, and then he got corrupted by the spotlight. I don't, so. I don't even know that he was necessarily corrupted. He was just his his he lost again. He lost sight. Like Selko lost sight. Like everyone's kind of. You get so focused in the task, you kind of. Oh, I think he got. I think he got used to people blowing smoke up his ass. Uh, which may, which may be the case too. Yeah, because like they were. But putting... I, don't, I don't think I don't think he was like stuck necessarily stuck up about it. He's just gotten complacent. I guess maybe. Well, it's like he was focused in the beginning because like his partner, I can't remember Vincent. His, Vincent. Vincent's focused because he is on a ticking fucking clock. Yeah. And then this guy is too worried about going out and, you know, we're bringing our latest thing, these minor digging gloves. You think Vincent gives a shit about miners with digging well, he, gloves he and shit did. like that? He's, he's, it, he it's, wants... It's, it's, it, but it was like, kind of like around that time in which he, he really felt the ticking clock and his focus kind of shifted. Yeah. And when they had the, what was it called, the Omicron or something like that? Yeah, it, wasn't or... the, it was something or other that, I, that, that could bleed. Did up. I just refer to something else? Yeah, uh, you're talking about the uh, COVIDios Omicron variant. I said Omicron. I didn't say Omicron. <laughs> Omicron. But uh, I mean, every time I hear that, I think of Omicron. Percy I ate from uh, Futurama. I think of Unicron. Oh yeah. I think of a gigantic planet coming and eating our planet. Just oh, like no. y'all, don't, y'all don't deserve to live. So, um, but yeah, it, it's the there's so many great storylines. They weave all of it masterfully together. In my opinion, mm-hmm. there are probably going to be people who are just be like, man, this animation is delicious, but this fucking storyline sucks. Yeah. It's it's they're not inventing anything new here. No. Um, but the way they tell the story, it's like the, the characters are, are enthralling mm. for the most part. So you kind of get drawn into some of it yeah. and some of it drags. Some of it doesn't. But yeah. for the most part, I think the parts that drag are r- rare mm. To the, and, and the parts that are good are so good to kind of like so I think like for the most part it's an 8 for me except for the animation is just so fucking beautiful that it's a 9 mm. I'll, yeah I'll just you know what uh, with saying what I, the things that I didn't like about the show I will go ahead and firmly set my rating at a 9 yeah. because like you know there were characters I just did not care for but um, uh, but they were few and far between um, and there were some throwaway moments in the show where it was like oh it's going to be really cool and it's kind of like they didn't really do anything with certain characters, so. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're nine episodes feels like a lot, but it could have been so many more. It's kind of that that balancing act. Yeah. So with that rating, don't go see it. It's a waste of your time. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> so if you've got Netflix, like pull up Arcane, give it a watch. Yeah. You can do do a slow drip, watch an episode a day, like forty-ish minute episodes, mm. or do or do the marathon and, and binge it in a day. Uh, Slap down your popcorn, order a pizza, g- gather some friends, make a make a make a thing of it, or maybe you know just hang out with your friends online and and I'll watch it at the same time, given uh, the uh, the current situations and the name of this particular series. Yeah, and I will also say, and I know this is not going to be something you want me to say, but if you have anything that makes colors pretty, it'll make this show awesome. Oh, sad. I'm saying it without saying it. Okay. <laughs> so you know, you have any things that makes like you know animation groovy? If there's um, some stuff you can uh, imbibe that makes uh, yes, colors more vibrant. Yeah, it, you're you're probably gonna shit yourself in the first three episodes if that's the case. Because well, I'll, I'll I'll take your word for it. Wear plastic diapers. That's all I'm saying. Just, yeah, right. You know, yeah, but it's another 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 Friday evening for me. <laughs> <laughs> you're so lucky. It only happens on Fridays. That's the only time you see me. <laughs> oh, true. But thanks for joining us for another co video. Um, like, subscribe, share, smash that button. I still don't know what the is the button the alarm one? No, yeah. it's if you smash the like button and click that notification bell yeah. to stay up to date on all the latest videos. Sorry, Amber wanted me to do this one time. Please like, subscribe, and hit that that share button. Whatever, just hit, hit that bell. Do the things. Help us out. If we get famous, we'll buy you a beer. You know, I won't buy you beer. He'll buy you a bag of chips. 
maybe chips. Chips are fine. Yeah. Um, so in the comments below, let us let us know if you like Arcane. Please. Favorite episodes, favorite characters. Like a good is, quote from the show. Yeah. Let us know what you thought of it. Maybe it's maybe it's not a ninety, or maybe it's maybe it's a six. And like I can't believe they they liked Heimdinger. Or Humpledinger. Yeah, it, but honestly, if you're going to do that, if you're like going to give it a 6 or something like that, or if you're going to give it anything that's below like a 7, yeah. just 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 do me a favor and just... I do I do like to know what, what people think. I, I do like to see other people's point of views on things because, you know, you might expand my fucking world whenever mm. you do something like that. Just explain what you didn't like about it, yeah. and I'll tell you why you're wrong about this particular <laughs> series. Oh, if you give it a 3 and, t- and give me like... If you give it a three, because like, eh, it's stupid. Well, then, I'm like, okay. You're, yeah, you're, but if you get, if you give it a three and like, here's some reasons, and I'm like, ah, oh, they're reasonable, then that's cool. I mean, you like what you like. I'm just, I, I'm just kind of curious if it's if it's good or not. I give the show a three because League of Legends is shot at sixty frames per second. You could tell that the characters in this anime are way over that, which is not video game accurate. Mm. Which I mean, that could be the case. Maybe, maybe these things are so. These characters are so departed from League of Legends that a League of Legends fans just hates it. I have a feeling they don't, but maybe that's the case. Oh, maybe it's something that's coming up, or maybe it's something that happened near the end of the episode. But, like, I've always seen Jinx in the commercials for the game. Mm-hmm. I've always thought that she was, like, a fucking zombie. Mm. Like, a cute, adorable murder hobo zombie. Because she always has that pale skin. Yeah. Which I guess is why they called her Powder in the beginning. But, like, I could see where she where they did that with the show but like she still didn't feel like the jinx from the game because like she's more tortured crazy person in the show than like i'm doing it just because i fucking love it yeah i guess i'm just not as familiar with i I know what she looks like because people like share pictures of her the commercials of the game are literally as far as my knowledge goes but like i remember watching the cute little video where it sounds (laughs) like it's being sung by like some like k-pop band yeah and she's oh, that's just, a good song and she's just murdering people on her fucking flying shark thing mm. and uh i just i thought it was cute um it made me want to play the game it did exactly what they wanted it to do it made me want to play the game and then i played the game and i was like this is utter shite and then, and then you get spanked yeah by the community and you're yeah. like oh never mind yeah fuck this game all right so um watch arcane enjoy it please like, let us let us know and comment yeah just comment down below but share this thing like we can't do it without you this this whole thing is literally dependent on you helping us yeah. and we need you like that other guy can fuck right off but like you we need you so if, help us if you like listening to this ramble and in the middle of an arcane review talking about gargoyles yeah or let, it, let us know or if like you know uh you can't sleep without noise in the background we will be happy to be your noise. If you need me to serenade you with my, uh, I don't have golden pipes, but you know. We have rusty pipes. My, I wouldn't even call them bronze pipes. <laughs> I'm more of a rusty trombone. So, wait a minute. I don't think that means what I think it means. Yeah, I was going there too. Okay. Um, but anyways, yep. thank you so much for watching. Um, I have been Lance. And I've been Nick. And we will see you on the next co-video.